Hi, my name is Denise Shadinger, and I'm the Assistant Police Chief with the Oxnard Police Department. I grew up in the city of Oxnard, and I've been with the Oxnard Police Department for 25 years. I started off at the Oxnard Police Department working in our patrol division. About five years into my career, I became interested in being a canine handler. At the time, the police department had not had a female canine handler, and I was the first woman to apply for the position. I was fortunate to receive a police dog named Argos and be to become the first woman police canine handler for the city of Oxnard. As I progressed through my career, I also had several other firsts. I was the first woman to be promoted to the position of police commander in the department's history. And I'm also the first woman to be promoted to the position of assistant police chief in the department's history. I became introduced to the Girl Scouts when I was asked to give a tour to a troop uh, at the police station. I took them through the police station, introducing them to many officers and showing them different career paths within law enforcement. They got to see our motor unit, they got to see my police canine, as at the time I was a police canine handler, and they were able to see the other civilian staff that work for us as well, such as our crime scene technicians, our dispatchers, our word processors, and our records personnel. Giving them the ability to see different careers for women in law enforcement, some in non-traditional roles, was exciting for me because I got to give them an insight into what I do every day. The experience that girls get in Girl Scouting is very similar to the, what I do in my career now. As Girl Scouts, you learn to work as a team, you get introduced to different challenges and learn new skills. As an assistant police chief, I work with my community in looking at ways to solve problems, bringing in new ideas, and working as a team. Teamwork is so important, and that's one of the main aspects of Girl Scouts, is learning to work with each other. As an assistant police chief, I feel that I have the ability to be a role model to our young women and girls because they get to see a woman in a leadership role that's non-traditional. We don't have many women in leadership roles in law enforcement, and as we get more of them, they are role models to our girls in the community because girls are able to see women in those roles. If they can see it, they can dream it, and they can be it. I was honored to learn that I was a recipient of the Women of Distinction Award. Um, I hadn't realized that I'd been nominated, and it's humbling to realize that people see and recognize the work you do with um, the youth in the community, especially our young women and girls. Um, I'm a mentor for the Police Activities League in the city of Oxnard and a member of the Seroptimus organization and working to better the lives of women and girls in our community is something that's very important to me. So to receive this, I'm, I'm honored and I'm also humbled. As a police officer for 25 years, I've had the ability to break uh, barriers in my own career. And I think my advice to young women and girls is not to let anyone tell them they can't do something. If they're interested in a career path or in an achievement in life, they need to set their sight on a goal and work towards it and know that their hard work will pay off. There will be setbacks along the way, but they need to keep moving towards the goal that they've set for themselves. My adult self would tell my 12-year-old self uh, to keep working hard and to stay true uh, to herself. Everything that she's about to experience in life, whether it be good or bad, there's a reason for it. And you'll use those experiences to be successful in the future. You have a great future ahead of you, and I can't wait to meet you again. One of the great things about Girl Scouts is you have an instant family of sisters that you get to learn from and you can rely on. And I'd like to tell a little story about one of my sisters as I was growing up. A friend of mine wanted to uh, experience or go through the Police Reserve Academy. And I didn't know what that was and I had never heard of it before, but she wanted to do it and she didn't want to do it alone. Uh, so we did it, what people commonly refer to as the buddy system. I'll go with you and be your buddy as you experience this. So we both signed up for the Reserve Academy uh, went to a couple days of class, 
And the first full day of class was on a Saturday, and we had to do the obstacle course for the first time. And unfortunately, she got hurt doing the obstacle course. Uh, she hurt her knee and wasn't able to continue. But I found a new passion and something that I didn't realize I was even interested in, in police work, and decided to finish the Reserve Academy and was shortly thereafter hired as a reserve police officer. And about six months after that was hired at the Oxnard Police Department. I had never made the decision to be a police officer early on. I don't have any law enforcement in my family, but because I took a chance and did something with a friend of mine, uh, she got me interested in it. And 25 years later, I'm an assistant police chief with the city of Oxnard. Girl Scouts sets up our young women and girls on a path of good moral foundation, learning to work together as a team and building new skills as they move forward through Girl Scouts and through their school careers, they are able to say no to some of the distractions that happen or address some of the problems that they will see in the future. They know how to deal with bullying because they have their sisters in Girl Scouts to stand by them and support them. They feel strong and confident in saying no to drugs and alcohol. And they know that when they have a problem, uh, they can go to their sisters and they can discuss it and come out as a team supporting one another. That's so important as they move together through life because you will experience that even as an adult. Having someone to lean on, to confide in, and to have confidence that they truly have your back is important. And that's one of the things that you learn in Girl Scouts.